Cat off-road engines are used in a number of different applications in the oil patch, but none are more important than empowering big drilling rigs as they drive pipe three miles below the surface in search of oil and gas. In the Permian Basin of West Texas, Caterpillar's new prototype ACERT technology engines are passing early tests with flying colors. Leading today's tour of the Big Dog Drilling Rig will be field support and sales representatives from CAT's West Texas dealer in Midland, Warren CAT. Warren CAT has led the way on prototyping uh, ACERT engines due to the emission laws that are now in effect. The older two-stroke engines will not pass emissions and our customers have really taken off on the ACERT program. We've been installing ACERT engines since the first of the year. Most of our ACERT engines are going into basic well service division. They're one of our largest customers here in the Permian Basin and they are very pleased with the product. The biggest advantage of the ACERT technology is the fuel consumption and uh, performance. Uh, performance advantage we're finding is more power, greater cycle times during the work over. We are right there very close to the, to the two strokes on performance, on uh, ramp times. In the petroleum business, the, uh, the pollution laws that are in effect now, with the assert engine we should be able to carry into 2007 with the technology that's involved with that engine. We'll be heading to Fort Stockton, it's about 150 miles southwest of here. We'll be visiting Big Dog Drilling. They are in the process right now of a re-entry on a well. Uh, we have C-18 engines on their rig, and we can go down there and take a tour of it. What we're gonna go see is what's known as a mechanical compound rig. Okay, basically, it's on a box-on-box -box substructure, which means that you have basically a box-on-box -box structure that's made out of wide flange beam and, and uh, structural iron. Okay, on top of the substructure, there is a master skid. On the master skid, there is a draw works. The draw works is essentially just a large winch. Okay, coming off the draw works, there will be a compound. On the compound, there will be two input shafts. The two engines drive through these input shafts through the compound into the draw works. The mast of the rig basically is going to be something along this order. Okay, the drilling line, you got the crown block up here and the drilling line will go from here up over the crown block. Down, you will have your um, hook and swivel. Your traveling block hook and swivel will be attached here. Here will be a rotary table. The rotary table is also driven from this compound via a chain drive on the opposite side of the draw works and it basically is just as the name implies it's a rotary table as you're when you're drilling not hoisting but drilling you'll have a kelly that goes down through here which attaches to the drill pipe and goes down into the the actual hole that's being drilled okay but the main thing that that, that we'll be interested in looking at today on the c18 engines will be the the method in which the engines are attached to the compound. There's two engines on Big Dog's rig that are C-18s. Uh, they, are, they are up on the floor. The engines on Big Dog's rig right now have approximately 4,500 hours on them. Mr. Driscoll said it was the most on the C-18s in the field. The new C-18s for Big Dog drilling replaced uh, two D-379 older CAT engines that were less uh, fuel efficient and they have the same or more horsepower than the D-379s. The Big Dog Exploratory Well is a two and a half hour drive from Midland in a very remote desert area. Three crews work in shifts 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in order to drill into the Earth's surface to find pockets of natural gas. We're in front of a Big Dog Rig 10. Uh, Rig 10 is a Gardner Denver 800 draw works. It's got a 142 foot mast on it. And it's capable of drilling to 15 to 18,000 feet. It's got uh, one duplex standby pump that's tail driven. 
It's got uh, a primary pump that's powered by a Caterpillar D398TA. The electrical power on the rig is 23408. But what we really came out here to show you and to talk to you about today is the fact that this rig has been repowered with two new Caterpillar C18 Assert engines. Right, Dale. What we done was we removed the two D379s up on the compound and added the C18 Assert engines which gave it a horsepower rating of 1,260 horsepower. A big dog is probably be going to close to 18,000 foot with this well. As Brett said, we replaced both the D379s that were previously on this rig. They were uh, two engines rated at 520 horsepower at 1,200 RPM. We replaced it with two C18s uh, with uh, Oilworks C195-100 converters, and we have had no downtime. You're right, Dale. Uh, downtime has been zero. We've had zero oil consumption. Right now, the engines have approximately 4,500 hours on them. The new Acer technology engines are performing well, as evidenced by Warren Katz, Brett Mills, and Dell Rosmussen. While Cat customers are also benefiting from the technology in the field and on the job. This is Big Dog Rig 10. We put these motors on about six months ago. We took the place of a D379. We outhorsed some old motors by 150 horsepower a piece. These motors have increased our tripping speed by about 20%. Cut our diesel performance down about 25%. Our hands had to start working faster to keep up with our operation. They have been real, real successful with these motors. We were using the uh, success of for Big Dog on marketing uh, of selling new engines to other customers. Uh, it, it's everybody that has one has liked it and has had nothing but good things to say about this engine so far.